33-year-old Gloria Choi moved to Washington from Colorado about seven years ago, according to Choi's friend, Brianna Eberly. She was the most generous, beautiful person you could ever meet. It was like her son was her world and her parents were her world. Eberly says Choi's family owns this hotel in Chehalis, where Choi was manager. She hired Eberly three years ago and they became fast friends. She was my best friend. She was the last person to, I would ever thought that would not be here. Choi was gunned down in her vehicle on January 2nd in Lakewood, where she lived. Court records say her truck was pinned against a telephone pole. The driver blocking her was William Rickman, Choi's ex-boyfriend. Charging documents say Choi called 911 and told the dispatcher Rickman was following her and hit her car, adding, he's got a gun, please stop. Police later found 14 bullet defects on her truck door and window. He shot her 14 times, point blank, for nothing. It was a senseless, senseless death for nothing. Prosecutors say the alleged shooter, Rickman, has a criminal history out of California, some related to domestic violence. Days after the shooting, he was arrested in Northern California and brought back to Washington this week to face a first-degree murder charge in Pierce County. He pleaded not guilty, a judge holding him in jail with no bail before trial. Choi lived with Rickman in Lakewood and moved out after breaking up with him in November, according to court records. Prosecutors say there were at least 11 domestic violence incidents connected to Rickman. On November 28th, Choi called Tumwater police to report that Rickman put Apple air tags on her belongings so he could track her and said he was unpredictable, suicidal and had guns. By December, Choi got a no contact order against Rickman, but several more times Choi had run-ins with Rickman who tried to contact her by phone, text and showed up where she was. Choi even called Eberly for help from a coffee shop in Centralia where she spotted Rickman's car. Weeks later, Eberly got the call about Choi's death. She should have not died. She should still be here. She should be raising her son. She should be with her parents. In Chehalis, Christine Pei, King 5 News. We asked Lakewood Police whether Rickman was reprimanded for violating his no contact order. We have not heard back yet. We will keep you posted.